When I talked in my previous video about cleaning my hydroponic rail systems, I mentioned that in several years of doing hydroponics, I've never sterilized my system with bleach or hydrogen peroxide or similar. So why is that? In the hydroponic world, there seems to be two trains of thought. Either regularly sanitize your hydroponic system to prevent harmful bacteria, or allow bacteria to naturally develop in your system and form a healthy relationship with the plants in the system. At this point, I definitely fall into the latter category. Plant roots require beneficial bacteria in order to draw nutrients from the water, so there will be bacteria either way. Hydroponics can sometimes seem like a sterile operation, but plants are not designed to grow in a sterile environment. Even if it appears sterile, if you dig into what is occurring at the root level, just for a plant to grow, you will see that it, it is not. However, one common concern with this sort of approach is root rot, or pythium. Pythium is a fungus-like organism that smothers and rots plant roots and stunts growth. You may have seen it. It makes the roots look dark-colored and mushy. It can spread very rapidly through a circulating system, so it can be a major concern, especially in a rail system like I have. And I actually had root rot on my strawberries last year toward the end of their life cycle. But after doing some research, I decided to try and move forward without sterilizing my system. After removing the strawberry plants from my system, I've not had any root rot on any other plants in either of my rail systems, even though they share the same reservoir. So why is that? Well, here's my conclusion. Pythium thrives in high temperatures greater than around 75 Fahrenheit, and low oxygen. Before the pythium showed up on the strawberry roots, I had a chive plant that had massive roots and plugged my system just downstream of the rail where the strawberries were. I think this caused the oxygen levels to drop in the stagnant area around the strawberry roots because the water was backed up and wasn't moving as quickly. And then that allowed the pythium to thrive in that area. Also, since the strawberry plants were already at the end of their life cycle, they were less able to fight it off. However, once flow returned to normal and the plants were taken out, my system has built-in defenses against pythium, since the reservoir is usually around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and I use a lot of aeration. Also, I've read some reports that plants can more easily fight off pythium when they have a lot of beneficial bacteria in the root zone, so not sterilizing can actually help in some cases from what I've read. So all that to say, I don't think sterilizing is the only way to stop pythium. It may, be, may still be something you need to consider if you're in a warm climate where it's hard to keep your nutrient solution cool, but I wouldn't recommend going straight there without some observation first. Of course, the other benefit of not sterilizing is that it's simple, which if you've seen our channel name, you know I really like. If we want to stick with hydroponics over the long haul as a hobby, simple is really good. I hope you found this helpful. Check out our online course for detailed instructions on how to build and set up a rail system like this. And also our website has quite a bit of information as well.